butterfly. You will notice there's a table of contents page, which we often find in a nonfiction book. Butterflies are insects with long bodies and large, brightly colored wings. In the fall, monarch butterflies fly from the cold north to the warm south of North America. There, they spend the winter half asleep in the trees. In the spring, they fly back north. Their journey is called a migration. In this book, you can follow the amazing migration of the monarch butterfly. During the summer, monarch butterflies live in Canada and the northern United States. They spend all summer feeding. Monarch butterflies fly over 1,800 miles across North America during their migration. In the fall, it gets cold. There is less food for butterflies to eat. The butterflies gather in groups to start the long migration south to California and Mexico. The wings of a monarch butterfly are big and strong. They help it to fly quickly and for long distances. The groups get larger as more and more butterflies join them. At night, thousands of butterflies land on trees to rest. Each morning, they continue flying south. In early winter, the butterflies reach the warm south. In their thousands, they settle on the trunks and branches of certain trees. All through the winter, the butterflies stay there half asleep. This is called semi-hibernation. The butterflies use the same trees every year. In the spring, the butterflies wake up. They are ready to start the long flight back north. For this return journey, the butterflies fly on their own and not in large groups. During the journey north, male and female butterflies mate. The females stop to lay their eggs along the way. Then the adult butterflies die. The tiny eggs from the female butterfly stick to the leaves where they are laid. You can see it's very small. Inside each egg, a caterpillar grows. Caterpillars hatch from the eggs and start to feed. They eat the leaves of milkweed plants. As the caterpillars get fatter, they grow new, larger skins. Milkweed is poisonous to other animals. Eating milkweed makes the caterpillars poisonous too. This means other animals do not eat them. When the caterpillar is fully grown, it hangs down from a leaf. After a few hours, the caterpillar forms a hard case around its body. It is now called a pupa. There's the pupa case forming. We also call it a chrysalis. Inside the pupa case, the caterpillar changes into a butterfly. When it is ready, the case splits open and the butterfly comes out. In the summer, the monarch butterflies that have hatched reach Canada and the northern United States. The migration is over. The monarch butterflies that reach Canada and the northern United States are the children of the butterflies that left there in the fall. The butterflies live in the north all summer. In the fall, it will be their turn to fly south. The migration will start once again. And here's the migration map. The routes taken by the monarch butterflies are marked with yellow arrows and the routes taken by the Red Admirals are marked with red arrows. So if we look over here at North America, we can see here we are by the Great Lakes. You can see the paths taken by the monarch butterflies. And then over here, you can see some of the paths taken by the, the Red Admiral butterflies. And you can see that even in Australia, they have some monarch butterflies. So this is our map. 
And um, there's a glossary at the end of the book. Remember, many nonfiction books have a glossary, so you can look up words you might not know. And there's an index. So if I was looking for certain information about a butterfly, I would look in the index and it would tell me which page I could find that information on. And that is the end.